At the Braille Institute, uh, there's a, a spirit of helpfulness from the time I arrive to the time I leave. And it, it's just uh, uplifting for me to come here. At Braille Institute, we help people with age-related vision loss get back to living the lives they want to live. And all of our services are completely free. It's just a big family here. You just feel like you're at home. Don't wait. Call toll-free 1-866-866-8995. Welcome back. Well, uh, today we have on uh, from the Braille Institute, J Jamie McAllister, and she brought along, as I said, they always bring along uh, some different things uh, to show you. And Jamie, welcome. Thank you. Nice, nice to, to have you here. And today you've brought along, and we're speaking about low vision here, yes. correct? And yes. how to help people just um, really, uh, when you're looking at the things that you were telling me about here, enjoy life a little bit better, enjoy television or reading and things like that, right? Very much so. Uh, people who have an eye condition that can no longer be correctable through mm -hmm. treatment or through eyeglasses may benefit from some of these products through a low vision consultation. Mm -hmm. through, we have a low vision specialist that comes here to Laguna Woods uh, to demonstrate these items to people and they can be very very useful to help them read or write watch television use computer whatever activity they may be having trouble with very good well let's go through uh, some of these I think the first one is is pretty uh, uh, when I first looked at these I said to Jamie they, they kind of remind me of what someone who um, you know woodworker or a hobbyist may use and of course mm -hmm. they have glasses like that so mm -hmm. you can do magnify which are you know some small little intricate thing but this really does the opposite. It's for distance. This is for distance viewing, for watching television from mm -hmm. anywhere from four to ten feet. Okay. Yeah, and it would improve somebody's ability to watch television or see fine details. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very nice. And they, you know, obviously a very simple device. Simple device. They're just a spectacle binoculars, basically what they are. And mm -hmm. they remove their own glasses, and they put these on, and then they can focus the lenses. To their eyes. Yeah, very nice. And they focus independently, just in case one yes, eye is absolutely. slightly different than the other. And they do make versions of these for up close viewing mm -hmm. for somebody who might may want to do handwork. Yeah. But these particular ones are for television viewing. Yeah, and I can see again why these would be uh, important. Uh, as as we were talking, the close up stuff. Someone even with low vision may be able to go to a hobby store and buy something that may help them uh, for mm -hmm. close up because mm -hmm. those can be adjusted, adjusted as, well. as well. But this is uh, unique for distance. This is unique for distance. Yeah. And it's a higher quality optic than you would find in a hobby store. Yeah. That's one of the things that we do at Braille Institute is we, we have a selection of visual aids that have okay. better quality. Okay. And that's where somebody would get one of these? Well, they would come they, to our low vision consultation. It's, okay. it's by appointment. It's held here in Laguna Woods Village. Uh, they make an appointment to come in, and the low vision specialist would assess their needs, determine if something like this would help them, and then start demonstrating this product to them, allow them to try it. And then if they need, to, if they want to get them, uh, the consultant would tell them where they can provide these sources. Okay. Yeah. All right, very good. Let's look at the other one. It looks like a magnifying okay. glass. This is a handheld magnifier that's commonly used for reading uh, medications, mail, shopping, mm -hmm. whatever a person would need to do. It's very portable. It's got a light built into it uh, mm -hmm. so that light is put right where it's needed to be. And they come in many different strengths and in min many different styles. Okay. And what I like about this is with the, with the light on it, but this can, uh, you know, even help some of the average, average people out there Absolutely. who have uh, medication. Maybe their vision is somewhat okay, but, you know, you look at the, uh, the pill bottles or you buy um, the, the standard medication, you open it up, you know, it's got all the little instructions that are in like a three-point type <laughs> that I can't even read. <laughs> So uh, that's very helpful. I have magnifiers around my house yeah. too for that reason. So, exactly. But they're very, very, very helpful. Yeah. And we have an entire range of optics mm -hmm. 
in more power than you can find in a pharmacy. Yeah, that's or nice. Store. Really nice. Now let's look at this and explain what this is. At first, I thought that maybe this was. Um, a phone with a special case on it, but that's not what it is. Actually, what it is, it's a portable video magnifier, mm -hmm. and it is a camera magnifier that oh, that's you great. have total control of the level of magnification and control of color options. Okay. People have different needs, and they require different... And you have this um, over the sheet it's of paper here. It's just a sheet of paper. It's a live document reader. That is nice. So... That is so much better than those big uh, overhead bulky type things. Yeah. And I like what you did here. You can change, you can, you can have. change color. Yeah. That you can is change great. size. I can even freeze the image and take a picture of the image. That is really nice. Save it and also save it to my computer if I wanted to. Yeah, that's nice. Mm -hmm. I like that a lot. It's also, it has another feature on here I'd like to show you. It can be used with a handle. Oh, okay. So if somebody's shopping and they want to look at something on a shelf, they mm -hmm. can hold this up to the shelf and take a look at it. Or if they're at home and they would prefer to have a stable base, they can use it that way. So it's very, very flexible. Yeah, that's very nice. Now yeah. I'm, I'm going to ask one of the, I think, an obvious question mm -hmm. here since it, it reminds me of uh, an iPhone or Android phone. Does this company perhaps make a case that can go around your phone and do the exact same thing? This company doesn't. The, okay. This company makes specialty items for people who have visual impairment. Okay. But there are mainstream products such as the iPhone, mm -hmm. the iPad, any other kind of tablet that do have accessibility options they based do. into them. And that is one of the discussions that we have during our consultations. We help people learn about their accessibility options in their existing products that they have. Yeah, I think what I like, ab what I like about this is that uh, more than anything else, because some of this stuff you can do on an iPhone, obviously, mm -hmm, or an Android mm -hmm. phone, but if there was a case made, the fact you could put your phone in, and that way, it can just sit there like that, mm -hmm. and you don't have to be holding it. Well, there are I like there that. are holders yeah. for those products, but there's a lot more control right now with mm -hmm. these types of products. Yeah, very good. You want to talk about a special event coming up, right? I do. On um, March 31st, here at uh, I think it's at Clubhouse Five. Okay. We're having a low vision seminar and technology fair. Dr. Timothy Yu of Orange County Retina will be speaking on macular degeneration and the advancement in treatment and Enhanced Vision, which is a distributor of this kind of technology, mm -hmm. will be there demonstrating their products as well. It starts at 1 o'clock with registration and the event goes from 1.30 to 3.30 and we ask that people call in to 1-800-BRAILLE to RSVP. I think okay. there is limited seating. But our low vision rehabilitation specialist that demonstrates all of these mm -hmm. products will be there to meet as well. Her name is Beata Tafazoli and she will be there to answer any questions someone has. But we invite your uh, viewers to come out and participate. All right. Do uh, people need um uh, to call to RSVP or do you they can just stop by here at uh, Clubhouse 5 which is if you're in the main area there, it's a pretty big uh, mm -hmm. auditorium. Mm -hmm. Well, we ask that they do RSVP so we know okay. who's going to be attending. All right, so I have um, the information on the screen because the number I have, can they call the one that we're using here, yes. your 714 yes. number? Absolutely. Okay, great. So I have, let me look, I have it on this sheet, 714-821-5000. Uh, and uh, that number will work. It's brailleinstitute.org. And this is happening in Laguna Woods on um, March 31st, so a week from today in Clubhouse 5. Real nice. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be a great event. And uh, as Jamie has demonstrated here, uh, maybe you're still able to get around pretty good, but they're going to have I, even things like a magnifying glass, something like that, that I think many of us have used after <laughs> a certain age. They're going to have this here. and. Uh, you can get great information that you know you kind of keep in the back of your mind so if your vision starts to uh, get a little bit worse you kind of remember these products yes. and i think that's a great way 
Jamie, thank you for coming on today. My pleasure. Really good, and we'll, uh, we'll make sure to mention that again. Okay, thank you very All much. All right, you take care. And again, uh, Braille Institute, uh, their number is 714-821-5000 or brailleinstitute.org, and that special event is a week from today at Clubhouse 5. You need to RSVP. Thank you again. My pleasure. Nice to see you. We'll be back.